you get really down to the basics of arthritis and so that you understand some of the myths, some of the things that you've heard about it aren't true. Arthritis comes in a lot of different uh, ways and, and, and there's different types of arthritis, but primarily the one we're going to talk about tonight is called osteoarthritis. It's the most common. Degenerative joint disease, osteoarthritis, spondylosis, degeneration, it's all the same thing. It's a functional wear and tear. It's a functional loss. The other primary type um, that you hear about quite a bit is rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is more of a, an autoimmune disorder. The body attacks itself. There's two main causes of osteoarthritis. And the first one, which is very common, uh, is an old injury that didn't heal correctly. A fall you may have had as a child, or a, a knee injury you had while you were playing soccer. And then as time progresses, time and gravity starts to wear away at that injured joint or injured area of the body, and it starts to wear out. The second and very common cause is poor alignment or poor posture, poor position. These two go hand in hand. Poor posture, poor alignment, old injuries that didn't heal correctly allow for this manifestation of degeneration to occur very slowly and very insidiously over the course of your life. And you know that when you're young you have a wide range of adaptability. You can sleep anywhere, mm -hmm. you can eat anything, and as time progresses, what happens? It starts to shrink. Mm -hmm. So these are things I think that have been perpetuated for years about arthritis. And the first one is that it's normal. And I've heard this so many times where I've heard people say, oh yeah, it's just arthritis. Or the doctor told me, oh yeah, I have arthritis in my spine or my shoulder. And that it's normal to have that. And the problem is, is that the word normal is used interchangeably with common. And they're not the same word. Right? Common means lots of people have it, and that's true for arthritis. Normal means you're supposed to have it. And so because there really isn't a solution medically for, for arthritis, it's, it's just considered normal aging, and here's some drugs to take care of your symptoms while you go off quietly towards your early destruction without knowing you have any issues because now you're on these, these medications. So normal and common are not the same thing. Or that it's genetic. This is another one I've heard a lot. Genetic, and this is true for a lot of things. Oh, my mother had diabetes, or you know, jo Uncle Joe had heart disease, and so I'm just just my lot in life. Genetic predisposition here really has very little to do with arthritis. It has something to do with it. I won't say it has nothing, but it's a, a lot less than you think. And I think the more we get off of this bandwagon, the more we take responsibility for ourselves. You see. The convenient thing about saying it's genetic is it takes the weight off your shoulders, doesn't it? It takes the weight off your shoulders because it's not your fault. <laughs> and then there's nothing you can do about it. I've heard this a lot, too. You're just going to have to live with it. Or even worse yet, I've heard it said that it's in, you know, the pain that you're manifesting is in your head or it's, you know, it's, it's your imagination. Everybody's heard this. <laughs> Cracking your knuckles, you know, yeah. doing this oh, yeah. causes arthritis. And this has been perpetuated down the years, and I don't know who started it, but it's one of those old, you know, yeah. Wives' tales, oh, I guess yeah. you call it. Uh, but they actually did a study in UCLA, I think it was in the late 80s, mid to late 80s, and they followed people who would crack their knuckles. And what they found was that if they cracked them the right way, meaning there is a wrong way to do it, <laughs> that if they did it long axis like this or this way, not against the joint, this way, that it actually prevented arthritis by rehydrating and reestablishing good joint synovial fluid. In other words, there's fluid between the joints. And it's almost like when you do the cracking part, you change the oil. So you rehydrate, you, you bring more nutrition, more oxygen, more clean nutrition and clean joint fluid back, and it actually prevents arthritis. They said if you went the wrong way with it, against the joint plane, you could actually create lax ligaments and that might weaken the joint, but it didn't cause arthritis, it actually prevented it. So that's pretty cool too. So, what can you do about it? Well, prevention, without question, is, is the absolute best thing to do when it comes to degeneration, osteoarthritis, 
whether it's the hip or the knee or the ankle or the elbow, but most devastatingly when it affects your spine because your spine holds your lifeline in it. What chiropractic tries to do is find if there's misalignment and postural distortions. These are called subluxations. Subluxations are imbalances that come from poor posture and accidents, injuries, and impacts will lead to a destruction of joint tissue, and that's arthritis. So to, what we try to do is to help teach people where the subluxations are and then restore balance and improve structure with the adjustments and exercise, thereby improving the nerve system, which equals better health. So if, you're, if, you're, if your spine and your structure are off, your brain spends a lot of energy dealing with that poor posture. And that energy comes away from your body's ability to do other things. <coughs> so we teach that exercise and stretching. Also good nutrition, things like glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, hyaluronic acid, these are all good things potentially for people to deal with the symptoms of arthritis and also to help restore the cartilage and reestablish re the things that God gave you so that you could keep all the body parts and not have any drugs or any surgery as time progresses. That's really the goal with regard to the chiropractic approach to arthritis.